there, welcome to Grey's Outdoors. Uh, today I'll be starting with uh, installing our flotation bags into the canoe. So uh, without further ado, let me show you what you need. So I've broken this project into two parts. One will be attaching the D-rings to the base of the canoe and the other will be actually drilling the holes and attaching the ropes for securing the bag. So for today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the D-ring and what we will need for that is a D-ring. I bought two of those. I will put the link below. It's from a company called Endless River and they do supply adhesive with it, which is quite useful. That costs about 20 pound. Uh, you will also need the bag for measuring, a pencil for marking, some sandpaper for roughing up the area, and some alcohol wipes for cleaning it from grease before you apply the adhesive. I'm going to use a credit card for putting it down, but you could use anything for that. Now fitted in the canoe. That's where I want it. So my next step would be to actually mark the D-ring. So the idea of the strap that comes off the D-ring or the retaining strap is not to hold the bag down, but rather to hold the bag towards the bow. And in order to do that, the D-ring must not be placed at the end of the bag, but rather be placed a couple of centimeters in. So I'm, I'm going to put it about 10 centimeters in from the edge of the bag and that will pull the bag towards the bow when the strap is tightened. I'm now going to do the same thing for the stern. So next up I've got a bit of sandpaper and I'm just going to rough out that area a little bit so the adhesive does stick to the base of the canoe. So I've just finished the sanding and I'm now going to just give them a bit of a wipe with an alcohol wipe just to clean off any grease that might be there. I don't have any alcohol with me but I do have quite a few of these uh, glasses or spectacles cleaning wipes and they're full of alcohol so I'm going to use those. So the next step in this little project is to take the river bond or adhesive and apply it to all the surfaces and leave it there for four hours. So I'm just using an old National Trust card to apply it. You've got to apply it to the back of the D-ring as well as the hull and then we leave that for four hours. So I'm going to get on and do that and then it's a four hour wait. So the glue's all set in, you can see there's quite a bit on my hands, a uh, bit of a sticky mess to do, but I've got the glue on the rear of the D-rings, I've got the glue on the hull, it now has four hours to set, and then I need to come back and finish off the job. And now it's a four hour wait. <laughs> Well, welcome back. It's uh, four hours past and I think we better check on that glue. So 
So do make sure that you put the webbing strap down the correct way and um, this adhesive is now wet. I'm going to put it down and I'm going to roll it flat with a little tin. So that did need a bit more thumb and a bit less tin, but it, did, it was a little bit useful. So I'll try it again on the stern. and the next part of the project will be uh, interlacing the laces on the side of the canoe which means drilling into the side of my boat. Thank you very much guys and all the best and looking forward to seeing you soon on the next one.